Hello, Adam here, and today I'm very excited. Not only am I going to show you every brush, every color, and every technique that you'll need to do this painting yourself, I'm going to give it away for free. Completely and totally free shipping and all. All you have to do to be eligible is you have to watch the video, you have to like the video, I'm going to have to trust you with those two things, and then leave a comment, any comment at all. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, ask for advice, whatever you want to do, but at the end of the comment, just write free painting, and I know you're interested. All right, I hope you're excited. I'm excited to get to the painting, so let's just get to it. Enjoy. All right, so what I got here is I got a 16 by 20 black canvas, and it's already covered in a thin coat of liquid clear. If you're interested in seeing how I put on the liquid clear, I've got a couple minute video just for that titled, How I Apply Liquid Clear. Okay, let's come down here and grab a two inch brush. And we come right into some crimson. Right here, we'll just get a good amount on the brush. And right down here in the bottom, put some crimson where this lake is gonna be. It's gonna be a really nice colorful painting. Really nice. Okay. And we'll just make it thickest right here and drag it to the sides. Right up here is where we'll have our sun. So we want the brightest colors to be under where that sun's going to be. Okay. Something about like that. And let me grab some crimson and put it in the sky as well. Right here. There we go. And we'll come up here and grab some Prussian blue. All right, and right in the corners, we'll make it a little darker with some Prussian blue. We'll overlap the crimson a little bit right there. You grab a one inch brush now. I'll grab some. Indian yellow. And let's see, let's we'll have our sun right in here. Right there. Okay, drag it over to the edges. I'll blend it a little with the crimson. We'll bring some down into the, the lake as well. I'll pick up a large fan brush. This is a number six fan brush. Let's come right into some titanium white. Just get a good amount on the bristles. And let's start right here in the yellow because we want that to be the brightest spot. Just go over it. That's all you got to do. That color will pop right out. I promise you. Okay. Once you got that the way you want it, bring it on up to the crimson. Ain't that nice? Just bring it up. Notice I'm, I'm rounding it just a little to make it look like a sunset. Make the crimson nice and bright. And continue on up to the blue. Ain't that just fantastic how this color just pops out on this black canvas? I really enjoy this. Okay. And we'll leave the corners a little darker. It helps to frame in the painting when you do it that way. And when we blend in a minute, It'll put a little more blue in the corners anyway, so I'll leave a little dark for now. All right, I'll just come right to the bottom. Do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Look at that. Just brightens right up. Pretty much bring these straight across because this will be water. Water lines are pretty much straight across. That is just really a fantastic technique. Let me put that down and go to a dry brush now. Now start here, okay? Once I start with the yellow, I don't go back into the yellow. Or I try not to. Just, just blend it a little more. That's all. Maybe focus on getting it out to the edges. Now I'll start in the crimson. Blend the two colors together. Still kind of rounding it just a little. Just a little. And same thing. We'll just bring it on up and all I'm doing is I'm just kind of looking at the lines trying to take most of the lines out of it the streaks but some of them can remain in there 
just up to you and what you think looks good. For me, I think that looks pretty good in the sky right there. Wipe that brush out some. I'll come down and blend the bottom. Just going all the way to the edges for the most part. Just like so. Okay, I'm going to set this palette down now. I'm going to reach over here and grab a dry fan brush. I'm going to grab my palette knife. I'm just going to take the very tip of the fan brush and dip it into some liquid white. Okay? Just the tips. All right, but you got to make sure that it's a dry fan brush. A fan brush that's got paint all over it will not work. I'm just going to come up here in the dark areas. Just put in a few stars starting to show. I just flick it gently. Okay, you can always flick harder, but start soft. I hope you can see that. Don't have to be too many. Good. I'll set that down. Pick up my palette again and oh, let's see. Let me grab a really dry brush and just in these areas where I really don't think stars would show, I'll just blend those away. That's all. Real quick. No big deal. Okay, I'll go back to my large fan brush now. We'll put a couple clouds in the sky. And for that, I'll just mix up a little bit of a lavender color right here. A little Prussian blue, a little crimson, probably more to the crimson side. And I'll get me some white. Let's try that. Let's see, right up here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm just going to turn the corner into it. Okay, just turn the corner into it. I'll leave a couple gaps in the clouds when I blend that out. That'll look pretty good. All right. Let me get one over here. How about right here? Got a little blue in there. Don't that look nice? Turn to the other corner. And we'll just continue on. There we go. That is just a super way to make clouds. I really like that. Let me get a little more, and I'll put one more cloud right here in the center. Okay. I'll put a little, little more white in this cloud. Brighten it up just a little bit. All right. Let me grab my mop brush now. I like to use a mop brush to blend clouds. And I'll just start just by touching gently and turning. That's all I do. Touch gently and turn. Focusing on the bottom, kind of blending that out, letting the, letting the top shine a little bit. All right, and while I continue to do this, I just want to remind you all that I am giving this painting away completely and totally free. Shipping and all. All you have to do to be eligible is you have to like the video, you have to watch the video. I'm going to trust you with those two things. And then you just have to leave a comment. All right? Leave a comment. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. You know? And then at the end of the comment, just indicate you're interested in this painting by writing free painting. That's all you got to do. And then a week from this video releasing, I'm going to select a random winner and send it out to you. Okay, let me go back to that fan brush that had a little bit of white on it. I'll come up here and grab some more white. And I just want to brighten up a few spots. So how about right here where the sun's at? We just put some bright spots in this thing. There we go. And on up into the crimson as well. If a little bit of yellow is in the crimson, that looks just fine. Makes it look like a the sun is glowing on the bottom of some clouds or something like that. Looks really good. All right. Really brighten that up right there. Wonderful. And I'll, I'll get a little more. Put some right down here. Brighten up this whole lake right here. 
sun just shining. Even though it's a sunset, got the little bit of sun that's left, just really shining good on that lake right there. Makes a nice looking paint. Good. Okay, I'm going to go back to that two inch brush now, the first one I was using. And I'm going to get it right into some black. Real dark. And right here where we kind of left that little line, we're going to turn that into some hills. So all I got to do is start on the edge. I'll just, I'll just touch it. Roll some hills in here. No big deal at all. I'll bring it up and maybe back down real good right here under the center of the sun. Back up this side. There we go. And something like that. Once I get a little line in there, I can, I can always go back and fix little, little spots I didn't like. Really, really simple. Let's go over it and tap. Very, very simple. It couldn't be easier than this. Okay. Maybe we'll take this up a little higher right here on the edge. There we go. And I'll take that same brush and go right into a little bit of Indian yellow, a little bit of white right here. And right here where the sun is at, I'll just put in a couple brighter spots. All right, let's say the sun is still shining right there. Since so I got it the way I wanted, I just kind of wiped the brush out. Now I'm going to continue to come over and let it get darker and darker and darker to the edges. Is that a nice effect? Darker and darker and darker to the edges. Okay, and you can just keep tapping this. and The more you tap, the more it'll fade in. If you got some spots that are too light or what have you. All right, I'm going to take a little more of that same paint. And we'll kind of mirror this a little bit, okay? Mirror this and make some reflections. There we go. And all I'm doing is just looking at the hills and putting them in the opposite direction down here in the lake. That's all I'm doing. Very simple. Something about like that. I'll set that brush down. I'll grab that blending brush. Now I'll just pull this down a little bit. And they don't have to go down real far. Just a little. Reflections don't have to be super long for this one. Okay? Bring it down. I'll wipe my brush out. Bring it across. And just like that, you have really nice reflections in this lake. I'll set that down now. Grab my palette knife. Run that right through some titanium white. And again, right under where the sun's going to be. I want that to be the brightest, so that's where I'll touch first. I'll put in some water lines. Bring them over to the edge. Same thing on this side. Just bring it over. The line doesn't have to be completely and totally straight, but mostly straight. All right, and then if I want it to look softer, I just go over it again. That's all. Very, very simple. If you keep going over it, you'll basically erase the whole line if you need to. I just want to soften it up some. Let me grab a clean, dry brush and just go over the bottom. Blend it in a little. There we go. Something like that. Go back to my palette knife now and grab some more of that white right under here. We'll just sparkle it up. Make it shine real good right there. Going back and forth with some titanium white. That's all. Shine it up, coming all the way to us. There we go. Go back and take that blending brush. Blend it in. Now we've got the sun shining 
on the lake, even though it's a night scene, looking really, really good. I'm going to go back to my original two inch brush, get a little more of the black, and right down here in the corner, I'm just going to touch, I'm going to let the brush bend up and pop up, and it's going to make some grass. All right, there we go. Now you can see it just like that. Easy as that. And that is a very realistic way to put in some grass. We'll do the same over in this corner. Just a little bit. Right there. Okay. You set that down, grab a filbert brush, get some black. And maybe a little white. Right over here, let's put in a tree. Right here on this edge. There we go. Bring it on up. Grab a liner brush now. I'm just going to roll that liner right through that black. Very, very simple. Okay. I'm going to darken up the top of this tree a little. Maybe the back side just a little bit, but for the most part, that tree turned out okay. And now I'll put some branches in it. So right about here, we're going to let a branch come out right in that light area. It's a really good contrast it'll make, okay? With paintings, you want to think about that. Light and dark. Dark over light. That's what makes paintings look good. Okay? And just You just need a few few branches. Don't need too many. We'll put another one coming up this way. All right. Something like that. Right through that cloud. And let's get one more branch right over here. Right near the top. Get a few leaves on these things here in a minute. All right, I'm going to set the liner brush down, go back to my filbert brush, and let's make another larger tree over on the other side. And again, I'll just tap a little white, put it into the black. And right here, we'll put a big tree near the bottom. I see that? It's almost putting the highlight on at the same time. There we go. Grab a little more and We'll see a little branch going that way. Maybe one coming up there. Good. I'll set that down. Grab my big two inch brush again and back to the dark. Back to the dark. And right up here at the top, I'll just put in a few little branches. Don't need too many. Don't need too many, but just right there near the top where we put these in, okay? few little branches. All right, we'll get a couple over here as well. Make sure I don't have too much paint on my bristles. And I'll just touch lightly, using the corner. Using the corner. And I'm just kind of thinking about the shape of leaves a little bit. You know, it's not too hard, but it's not completely random. I am looking at the shape. Making sure I like what I see. There we go. I'll reload my brush. Come to this side over here and right at the top. There we go. We'll just let some branches stick down over that cloud. I don't want to cover the whole thing. It was a nice looking cloud. All right. Something about like that. Let me set that down. I'm going to grab my filbert brush one more time. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring this branch right here back to life. I want to be able to see that a little bit sticking sticking through there, and maybe even the trunk a little bit. We'll work on the bottom part of that trunk here in a minute, but I'm gonna grab that two inch brush now and just blend that in. Just go over it in spots, just to make that look good. There we go. 
but I wanted to be able to see a little bit of those branches poking through. All right, now I'm gonna grab my palette knife. Not even gonna put anything on it. I'm just gonna come over here and just just pull this, just blend it, just kind of round it a little bit. That's all. Try to make it look like a tree shape. That's all I'm doing. And over there, I think I'm okay with the way that one looks. Now all I need to do is go to the bottom of these trees, put a little grass in front of them, just like I did before. Blend them in a little bit. Yeah, I'll put a little grass in front of that one too. Maybe grab the liner. And we'll just put a few small little blades of grass sticking up, just right through the black. That's all, just a little bit of black. Don't need too many. Just a couple larger blades of grass sticking up right there. Okay? All right. And with that, I think we're going to call this one complete. I really hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you'll give it a try. And don't forget, I'm giving this painting away for free. All you got to do is watch the video, like the video, and leave a comment. And at the end of the comment, write free painting. And I know you're interested. A week from the release of this video, I'm going to select a random winner and get it out to them. Okay? Until next time, remember, if I can paint, you can too. See you next time.